a major blow against Al Qaeda. Their second in command, the head of the terrorist group in Yemen, one of the world's most wanted men, has been killed by a U.S. airstrike. ABC's Brian Ross here with the latest. Good morning, Brian. Well, good morning, George. American officials this morning are calling this a huge victory against the Al Qaeda group, which has been the most active in trying to target the U.S. with repeated plots aimed at American passenger jets. The confirmation came early today from Al Qaeda itself, announcing that the leader of its thriving operation in Yemen, Nasir al Wahashi, had been killed in a U.S. airstrike. Last seen in this video of a huge open air meeting with his fighters in Yemen last year, al Wahashi had emerged as the most determined al Qaeda leader in the world to target the U.S. It was his al Qaeda bomb makers who were behind the repeated but failed efforts to bring down U.S. passenger jets, using bombs hidden in underwear and in printer cartridges that were able to easily get by airport security. Al Wahashi, who once served as Osama bin Laden's personal aide, had been one of America's most wanted terrorists, with a $10 million reward for him, dead or alive. In announcing his death this morning, Al Qaeda also announced his successor to take over the terror group. And officials say despite this one killing, this arm of Al Qaeda remains a major threat to the U.S. and commercial aircraft, especially since the evil genius bomb maker remains alive and George apparently still plotting. But it does come after that attack, successful attack against an Al Qaeda leader in Libya as well. That's exactly right. Two okay. for one. Brian Ross, thanks very much.